Play. You are on red. Up to now, we've had some pretty simple battlefields. And, well, it's about to get tougher. Luckily, Izanagi R&D found a way to capture nodes more quickly. They call it the Node Buster Orb. We can use the orb to destroy an enemy node and rebuild it for us instantly. If you drop the orb or use it to build a node, we'll get another one back at our orb spawner. Also, just carrying the orb near a node we already control will shield that node from damage. You'll know it's working when you see a red line of power that links you to the node you're protecting. In more complex battlefields, we may even see unlinked support nodes. These nodes can be taken by either side at any time. No need to link to them. Usually, support nodes are worth taking. They'll give us some advantage, like access to turrets, special vehicles, that sort of thing. In this battle, if we capture both support nodes, we'll cut the coolant supply to the enemy core and it'll automatically raise into the air, making it vulnerable from a distance. And one last thing. Whenever we're in a battle with vehicles, we'll be given R-class hoverboards instead of translocators. They should keep us mobile. That's the basics. You'll have to learn the rest on the job. Blue floor is secure. Grab your orb. Red orb picked up. Attack the prime node. Blue core is vulnerable. Enemy orb carrier incoming. Attack the enemy core. Thanks, Uncle Mal. First blood. My delivery shall be swift. Blue orb picked up. Come on, Bishop. Let's see you grind those turret red. Red orb drop. Area secure. Enemy orb destroyed. Blue orb is under attack. Killing spree. Red orb destroyed. Double kill. Double kill. Blue core is under attack. Moving into position. Area secure. Blue core is under attack. is heavily damaged. But no capture. I'm on fire. Attack the enemy core. Enemy orb carrier incoming. Blue core destroyed. Flawless victory.